Welcome back and thank you very much if you're just joining us. Today, exclusively, we're talking about the Gambia's Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers for the 2023 tournament, which began on Saturday as they played against South Sudan in chess. Both the Gambia and South Sudan came through the preliminaries because they were the lowly ranked sides in the African continent. So Gambia has cruised through, South Sudan as well. So we're paired in the same group. That is in Group G. You have Gambia, Mali, South Sudan, and Congo, Brazzaville. If you like, it's just called Congo, not the other Congo. The other Congo is DRC. So in that game in chess, it is Gambia that won by a goal to nil, and that goal was scored by Ablai Jallo. But prior to that, let's begin with the journey to chess. First, it's early morning, 5.30 a.m., board the ferry, and then inside the ferry, 30 minutes journey to Barra. After crossing, we boarded our buses, orders on private vehicles, of course. You have hundreds of Gambian supporters who went to chess to support their national team. First, let's bring you the journey and how it all panned out in terms of ambience as well. <laughs> Suleiman, I'm joking at Gambia. I'm from Senegal. For set on Gambia national team, Luta. Um, anyway, um, for now, this it, at least is a contribution towards um, our quarter to the nation. Man, for no lack of jelly. Um, playing in the Gambia, I'm an opportunity. Bob, why we are traveling to Senegal? One night, I can sing it. For new moon, go make them for go. I'm not the nature for why. People still love the country and love the boys. This is why we want to go to Senegal. Ready to support? Yeah, for real, for real. Ready to support. Do them ring them talk there. What we do here, Lolo Nyo Yobu Senegal. Def Lolak Lolo Fofo. Thank you. You're welcome. welcome. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Uncle Moses. Uh -huh. uh, you are also, um, some 10, 15 years ago, we were together right. going to Dakar to go and watch Gambia. Yeah, come sure, come a little sure, bit sure, sure. this way. Yeah. But um, this time also, you are on your way going to Senegal to watch the Gambia national team. That's right. Um, yes, um, uh, it's true. Uh, we are on our way to chess, at least to uh, see our boys play it against uh, South Sudan and hoping that um, they will have a good start in the campaign for Ivory Coast um, 2022. Yeah. So you're willing to give them your spiritual support? I know you cannot um, do like the normal supporters would do, but you will spiritually support. So, so we are going for a job, and but we are our hearts and everything is with them. Uh, we wish them good luck, and as uh, they perform in the last Afcon, we expect those kind of performance uh, today. Yeah, the journey has begun, and now we are finally in Barra on our way all the way to Senegal, in chess to be precise, where the Gambia will play against South Sudan in their opener for the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers. So you've heard the fans there, some of them, and also a journalist talking about the journey and going to support the Gambia, how it feels like. So QV TV will continue to bring you updates of this encounter between the Gambia and South Sudan. The game is going to be played in Chess, Senegal. You can follow our journey as we bring you updates. <laughs> Still talking about the Gambia versus South Sudan game. And now, like I said, 
hundreds of fans traveled. They're that traveling journey, once we arrived in Chess, the ambience began. People with their vuvuzelas making a whole lot of noise to cheer up the boys. That is even before kickoff, before even the players arrive at the Start Latjor, that is the Latjor Stadium in Chess. Let's get some of the fans, even their reaction in pre match, before the match would actually kick off, and some of the ambience. is at the entrance of the Latjor Stadium in Chess, Senegal, where the Gambia is going to face South Sudan for the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers. First match, you could see the Gambian fans behind me currently having their vuvuzelas displayed, making a lot of noise, supporting their team. This is pre-match. We are almost about three hours before kickoffs. So currently, that's the scene right here. You could see them, they excited. Pro ma like that tour. Wow, man, my van. Van, um, Taylor might be Gambia, South Sudan, Nyonga, Fibe, Chess, for support, sir. Wang you, ban content, ge. Over happy, sir. Over, over content, sir. Boy, man, I'm happy for gain, for your support, sir. Because, man, I always stand for my country. And then, I'm a day, sir. So, three points, we didn't know. Man, I'm a little game. Lisi, man. I am overjoyed. For me, this is not a game. But just a warm-up match. There you go, that's the Bubu Sela. Three point silence. Three point lenwa. Why you six point silence? Sola. Wow, six point silence sola. There you go. He said Gambia needs six points. So the atmosphere here is very electric. You can see the fans are very much excited prior to this game and they're looking forward to it. We will keep on bringing you as many updates as possible as far as this game is concerned. That's the entrance of the Latio Stadium here in Senegal, in chess to be precise. The venue for the Gambia versus South Sudan. Tila Job is also here coming all the way from Gambia to support the Gambia national team here today against South Sudan. Tida, what news are content? Content as my baby of a day, the Maju Sarangusa. The Vadia, the busy motor. Wow, Luma de Fo, we are Hamma on your book. So I'm so happy that, you know, Gambia, Egan, and Fini, football, a very near now, Humana, and Yapangi happy, Yapangi content. Wow, Luranga, and you play with Sundega, why Sunday Alabate? I know next year, Inshallah, Sundega and Co play, Sobea, Tara Burosh. Training ground, I look like I'm going to do game. But uh, we have to be very, very careful to know that, well, South Sudan, of course, they are the minnows in this game and they will do their best to make sure they upset the Gambia. But let's see how the match is going to pan out. It's the noise of the Vuvuzelas that you can hear. Cars are coming in and dropping over here, dropping a lot of people who came all the way from Gambia to come and support the Scorpions as they face South Sudan. We will continue to give you more updates as we get inside the stadium as well to bring you all the pre-match proceedings and even post-match as well. Continue to join us on QTV. I am Omotu Gajaga. Now, talking about the Gambia versus South Sudan, in the game is Abdullah Jalo who made the difference in the third minutes of first half at a time when he sneaked through just to tap the ball inside the back of the net after Musa Barrow's fine run who set him to play and just put the ball in as neatly finished as Asensi said run towards but the 
ball has already entered into the net. And goal credit to Ablai Jalo. Let's see some of the scenes of the goal and also as well as some of the highlights of the match because Gambia could have gone on to score three, four nil, especially in the first half, as Sanzise had two clear cut chances which he could not score. As well as Ablai Jalo also had a shot which went wide. Ibrahim Adabo could have laid a pass which would have just been a tap in for Asensise. And the second half introduction of Abdullahi Sanyang, that is Bambalai. He dribbled past two players, entered inside the box, laid a pass, but also missed as well. So there are a flurry of chances. But as well, let's look at some of the highlights of the game. Ablai Jalo scored in the third minute of first half added on time to give Gambia their first victory in the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers against South Sudan. Early on in the game, Asan Sise was brought down in the box, but the referee surprisingly failed to award a penalty. Despite South Sudan not showing much of a threat in the first half, their star player, Valentino Ewell, who plays his club football in Australia's top division, showed brilliant play with some dribbles and a couple of near post shots. The Gambia nonetheless dictated the play with majority of possession. Both Ablai Jalo and Asensise missed good chances to give the Scorpions an early lead. Gambia's domination in performance was not reflected in the scoreline, and much of the possession and passes were in their own half rather than in pressing home and attacking more when they were in control. South Sudan had a much improved performance in the second half, passing well and creating spaces with some good forward runs. They came close with scoring chances, but the Gambia defence dealt well with their attacking threat. Still on the Gambia South Sudan game, despite Gambia's dominating in possession, we've seen a lot of the time they played the ball at the back, from the midfield right down to the defense, exchanging passes instead of surging forward. We've also seen that. Is it that down to the tactics? And we will get to the reaction of the coach. First, starting with Tom Senfield, the Gambia coach, his reaction of the game. First of all, I have to say thank you to all the fans who are here and creating a fantastic atmosphere. We are home, away from home, but it felt well because we had a lot of fans supporting. Um, I had a little bit goosebump feeling when the fans behind us were singing the national anthem. And, and that was lovely. I experienced that from opponents, but never from Gambians. And I'm so proud to be Gambian and to have the fans in the stadium singing the anthem and celebrating with the team. So thank you very much. Um, we won 1 0 against uh, South Sudan. We knew that our start would be very important to take three points, but we also knew it won't be easy. Um, South Sudan played in the last qualification in 2021. They lost 1 0 from Burkina Faso, the number four on the Africa Cup. They lost 1-0 from Malawi, also second round in Africa Cup, so it would be not a walkover. But uh, I think in the first half we were in control over the match, we had a lot of ball possession. After two minutes I could have seen a penalty fault on Hassan Sisse. We had some opportunities, a volley shot from Ablai Jalo and other opportunities to open the score, but we had to wait as many times with Gambia till the dying minutes. This time it was not the dying minutes of the second half, but the dying minutes of the first half. But the three minutes extra time looked logic. There was a water break, there was a goalkeeper out uh, laying down for a while and there was a change. So the three minutes extra time looked very logic. At second half, I think we had a little bit difficulties without giving chances away, without being really under pressure. But we couldn't keep uh, the, the game as we wanted. We lost sometimes unnecessarily the ball. Uh, I saw some players who were tired, a little bit fatigued, uh, and that's possible. It was quite warm um, and it, it, it was not so easy. South Sudan was running a lot. But I'm proud of my team that they took the three points. We didn't really were in problems. We didn't get under pressure. Uh, we played the game well. And second half, on the end, Lamin Jalo um, and uh, Bamba Sanyang, they had the opportunity maybe to score that 2-0. It didn't happen, but you don't get more points for uh, 2 or 1-0. So I think we can be satisfied with uh, the three points. It gives us a good feeling to go to Brazzaville. Yeah, we, we knew that uh, South Sudan was physically strong. I think if you saw the lineup, uh, they were uh, double the size of the fourth official. 
um, and and they were really tall guys, physically strong in the ha in the air. Uh, uh, Buba of um, Mohamed Sani is a very good offensive right wing back, uh, but we wanted more force in a defensive way. If we had corners, we had a lot of corners uh, against us, free kicks against us, and that's the reason that we wanted with Omar, with Buba Sani, and with James. Plus, naturally, Suleiman Mari and Asan more uh, strength in the air. And I think James did it well. Uh, James had played already in that position a few times for Horsens, uh, sometimes in a three-man's defence, sometimes in a four-man's defence. Um, and uh, it was a little bit more to, to react on the quality in the air of, uh, of the opponent. So uh, that was a choice, and I think it went, it went, it went well. We have still five games to go, so uh, we can end with three points on the end of the, uh, the qualification. I don't think we have to be arrogant. I think we are not a country to think now. We have two million people. We are a small country. We, let's respect ourselves. I can say we can become world champion and then you are happy today and tomorrow not. So we, let's be realistic. We are now three points. Next week we play four days time against Congo Brazzaville. Inshallah we get one, maybe three points there. And we will see. It will be very tough. On the end you will need 12 points minimum to qualify. Imagine that every team would beat South Sudan twice. That are six points. Imagine that every team wins their home matches. That will mean that um, Mali has 12 points, Congo Brazzaville has 12 points and Gambia has 12 points. Even with 12 points, it's possible not to qualify. We make a big step forward, it's very important, but let's also respect the opponents and know where we are coming from. We take it step by step. Uh, we are not yet uh, the major powerhouses. South Africa, years a big powerhouse, investing a lot, having the coach who became champion of Africa in 2017, didn't qualify. So let's be realistic and let's work step by step. We have three points, we are happy, now we focus on Congo. And after four games, I can tell you more if you are on the way to qualify or not. Still talking about the Gambia-South Sudan game, Omar Kohli is now the new captain of the Scorpions. And for his first game in a competitive match for the Gambia, the Gambia won by a goal to nil, how it felt winning. And as well as what are they preparing as players when it comes to qualification for this time around as Gambia's first I would say maiden Afghan appearance in Cameroon just earlier this year. They reached the quarterfinals of the competition. The last African Cup and then we played the uh, quarterfinals. But still it doesn't mean that we are number one in Africa. You know, we are still the Gambia, we are still growing, you know. So obviously, um, yeah, we are a little bit pressured, of course, because um, we did very good in the last Afghan. So obviously, we players, we want to go to the next one and even make more history for the Gambia, obviously. So because uh, pressure is part of football, you know. But at the same time, we know ourselves. We know what we can do and we, know, we still know that we are Gambia. We are still a small country, even though we are bigger than South Sudan. But we, we still uh, we have respect for them and uh, Mali is, you know, I don't know, 60 or 70 in the world. And, uh, you know, you see Congo Brazzaville. Still Gambia, we are 123 in the ranking. But you know, we we gonna we gonna do our best and uh, try to try to qualify to the next next Afghan because we you know we did very well in the last one. So obviously, we want to go for the next one as well. So this is the goal of the team. You know, even though pressure is part of football, but this is our goal. You know, so we started game by we we have to play game by game, not to be you know big head or whatsoever. You know, we are still humble. We are still the Gambia, the same small country. That's why we always respect our opponents, so uh, we take it game by game. Uh, yeah. um, with all due respect to South Sudan, I think we've seen uh, how they played. You know, um, the last Afghan qualification, we played against Djibouti. We struggled against Djibouti, could you imagine? And then uh, at the end of the day, yeah. And then we played against uh, big nations like Congo, Brazil, uh, Congo, DRC. We played against um, Gabon, we beat them at home. Yeah, and then Angola as well. So, you know, that time we are not the favorites, if you could see. And then, you know, this is African football. You know, the, I mean, uh, every, every country has their own moment. So I think now we are, this is our moment, you know. So that's the reason why we take this opportunity whenever we have, uh, especially um, playing home, you know. We want to take every positive resource so it can be easier when we go away as well. So um, I still think uh, we are not the favorites, but, you know, 
maybe the underdog, hashtag underdog is good for us. And now let's hear from the South Sudan coach, that is Stefano Cousin, who talks about how Gambia were good on the night, but he's still proud of his team's performance. First of all, uh, congratulations to, to Gambia team. Uh, they are great and uh, we know fr before the game that it will be a tough game for us. But in the same time, uh, I am happy about the performance. The first half was uh, difficult for us because I think the emotion was uh, uh, the, the big emotion of the first game to play outside, to play against Gambia, that there was a, there is a big team, so it was difficult. In the second half, it was more easy because when you are losing 1-0, of course, you play better. Uh, I think that uh, in the second half, uh, we show exact, uh, our real uh, potential and our real uh, uh, style of play. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't uh, in the first half, but uh, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. I think that today we learn a lot uh, how to manage the game. When the first half is finished, you, uh, 48 minutes, you must manage the ball and uh, finish the first half nil-nil, not to receive this goal. In any case, uh, I am very happy about my players. I, I am very happy. I, lo I love all of them for their effort and uh, congratulations to Gambia and I hope uh, uh, I hope uh, next game against Mali that we will play a better performance. Ma, first of all, for my small experience in Africa as a coach, ma, uh, is a lot of time that I follow uh, African football. In Africa, everything is possible. It's not because you play Mali that uh, you cannot win or you will lose for sure. No, uh, we must uh, take uh, game by game. Uh, I say before, I say yesterday that my favorite was Mali and Gambia because they have uh, they play better, they have better players, they are well organized and uh, they are more competitive. This is for sure. So it didn't change nothing. That's why you know one one zero is also a result that when we will play the second game at home, uh, I don't know. Maybe we can put them in trouble. Well, finally on Q Sports, let's look at the reaction of the supporters who travel to Chess. Senegal watching the Gambia's game. Yes, they are happy, they are celebrating the victory, but they've raised numerous concerns that our stadium, the independent stadium, need to be fixed by government before our game in September. That we can really play our home matches rather than traveling away because there's a lot of frustration, even the journey alone, and it is quite an expensive one. So they want the independent stadium to be fixed so that Gambia's matches, they could be played at home so well rather than traveling away for matches. Some of them, in fact, call it an embarrassment. Let's hear from the fans. Um, we're feeling happy. We're feeling happy, definitely. Yeah, man. All day from Selby to here. Yeah, man. Since yesterday, I was on the way. Yeah, man. But all to come and show love, you know. It's my niece. What's your good name? My name is Mamadou Jalo. Yeah, man. Oh, come down and take it back. Sim Stadium, the next match. Ninja play for it because we don't know how many people you can see. Tal. Ninja the first stadium. Dega, dega, dega. So what you say? So what you say? So what you say? You are in Dublin. So what you say? You just Gambia be free. Con Bugani Sport be. Giri ala ninja Timbale. You the first in a start be. Pass against Senegal. What are you doing? Open letter. Go and ninja Timbale see a start. London Bugani ninja Timbale see a start. Yes, Habib Fall. Yes. He travels with the national yes. team. He yes. watched them play. Yes. Always give them that moral booster. Habib, how do you feel? Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's been it's been it's been it's been a tiring long journey, but the, at the end of the day, it worth it. When the Gambia plays, it's like my heart is beating faster and faster and faster. The fact that we have uh, it was a fourth game of the year. We won. We won. Ale! Boise! Hello, boys. Yes, uh, on, a, on a serious note, it's Gambia South Sudan. So the most important thing was to win the game, regardless of the performance of the boys. It was a very good first half. We could have won 3 or 4 nil. And came in the second half, they stepped up their game. And it was a bit cagey. We are under pressure. We defended well. Uh, and I think uh, at the end, we just have to win. We are the better side. But uh, one can feel that the team needs adjustment. We need to adjust the team if we want to progress because we expect this team to be the weakest team. We have South, we have Mali and Congo. So it's not going to be easy. But at the end, I think we are happy and Gambians have come all the way to Gambia to cheer the boys. So Alhamdulillah, we won. I'm in a good mood. 
I can go home with, you know, my heart very, 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 very cold. Eliwan, chief supporter, number one supporter. Nyonga Fitamet, Pursetan Gambia, Sen Majbi. Johlen support, Yangi won Cameroon. They win against South Sudan, one not, um, Lan Moisa Kontan. And I'll get them fancy, then you can get them fancy, Baha Baha Baha. They small almost said a top. Lemogis Fisi Gambian, Damo Kontan, Baha Baha Baha. They won and then because you have more than you feel. Nimogis Fi, yep. I am happy, but also thanking the fans who came all the way to support. I am very happy so many people traveled to support the team. But I am appealing to the authorities to fix our stadium. I am happy as a Gambian walking here, but at the same time, I am ashamed. Left to me alone, this will never happen again. We should be playing on home soil and not in Senegal. The most important thing for me for we know Kerala, but I just may know in Kerala. Because Han Altel from a journalist, Altel from Alan Minkata in the gym. We won the gym, but we will expect to win the gym in the gym. This is a team in Gambia. Right now, Gambia is ahead of the team. Well, that's it for Q Sports. And thank you very much for watching. Join us next week for more sports. And have a pleasant night.